Now, what I'm going to tell you is going to sound absolutely bizarre. It's going to sound like science fiction. But here goes. When the black hole has evaporated away, about half of it has gone, the interior becomes, in some sense, the same place as the distant Hawking radiation. It was emitted eons ago that's out there in the far reaches of the universe. It seems that space-time wormholes open up between the interior of the black hole and those distant parts of the universe, and it's that that allows us to read the information inside. <laughs> now, that is supposed to sound weird. And I should say that nobody really agrees on the physical picture of what's happening. But what everybody agrees on is this. The black holes are telling us that our intuitive picture of reality, of space and time, is wrong. The idea that this place is close to this place and that time ticks along is wrong. There is a deeper picture of reality in which space and time do not exist. Our attempts to answer a seemingly simple question about the fate of objects that fall into black holes has led us to a profound and quite unsettling conclusion. Space and time, concepts so foundational to how we experience the world, are not fundamental properties of nature. They emerge from a deeper reality in which neither exist. The thing about black holes is that nobody really understands them. So don't worry if you don't understand what I'm talking about, because I don't understand what I'm talking about, and nobody else does either. 